All right, I think I finally figured it out. Chances are, if you're into sneakers, it can be a little bit difficult to choose which pair to wear. And right out of the gate, I'd like to address this. There's always gonna be people that say, you have too many shoes if you can't decide which ones to wear. All that rah-rah, somebody hurt those people. I don't know what the problem is. You're an adult. You can probably make those decisions on your own as far as do I have too many sneakers or not. So in this video, I'm gonna help you simplify the process of choosing which shoes you're gonna wear each day. The first thing you gotta do if you don't already have one is get a shelf just like this. Something tall and narrow that can hold two pairs on each level. If you don't have something like this already, I will link some options for you guys down in the description. I was lucky enough to be able to thrift this one, but I'm actually looking at getting a second for downstairs. Next, categories. And this is huge. I don't know how I haven't done this in the past because if you're like me, you walk up to your sneaker collection, you look at all different pairs and you're like, what do I wanna wear? What do I wanna wear? It takes a lot of time. I'm trying to eliminate that. So getting something like this that has eight different pairs on it that check eight different boxes for me is gonna make life easier. Category number one, and this might surprise some of you, but hype. Now, typically I don't share a lot of hyped up sneaker releases on this channel. I get some in, don't get me wrong, but it's not the main direction of this channel. I'm not showing you this shoe that is reselling for $1,000 on StockX every time I create a video. I think that there's more depth in the sneaker world and there's other areas that I like to cover which you're gonna see in this video. I actually do have some pretty hyped up stuff in my collection and it's nice to wear it. Sometimes I like to flex a little bit. It's not how I dictate my outfits each day, but I got some things. Don't get me wrong, I got some joints. So, for my hyped up sneaker category, I have Off-White Air Force Ones in Volt. Certainly you have no issues seeing these. They're very bright. Most of my shoes are not like these. They are the opposite, to be honest. I like affordable options. I like stuff I can wear pretty often, but for the balance, you gotta have something loud. Then next up, we have the New Balance sneaker. There's no way I'm creating a sneaker rotation and not including a pair of New Balance. It has its own category, and this is the one pair I wanna wear this week. We've got the Jound and New Balance collaboration on the 2002 RX, the Gore-Tex version in olive. For where I'm at, Gore-Tex is very important. Keep it in moving the Jordans. They have their own spot on this list, and this is the Bread 4 reimagined pair that you've seen many videos on. They are the perfect shoe for right now. They're not suede, they're leather, they can be easily cleaned. They're more comfortable than regular Jordan 4s. You know the spiel, but Jordans have their own category. This right here is already progress. Guess what? You wanna wear a shoe, you walk over here, and it's at eye level. So having a tall, narrow shelf, again, is super helpful. If this was this whole wall, then your head is on a swivel, you're trying to figure it out. It is simplified. It's right here, eye level for me, and you make the decision for the week off of these pairs, and then you switch it up. Next up, Nike. Pretty self-explanatory so far, right? We've got New Balance, we've got Jordan, we've got Nike. The hype category is gonna be more in line with the rest that I'm gonna show you shortly. So for these Nikes, whew, I didn't wanna just go with something regular. I had to go in the stash. So I heard that these are gonna retro this year and if that is the case, I gotta start wearing these even more. This shoe is almost about 10 years old now for me, but we've got the Nike Air Tech Challenge 2 Hot Lava. The Andre Agassi joints and man, these are as good as it gets. And I'm starting to get a few spring colors in here as it's the first of the month. Okay, four more here and this is gonna be where we have some fun, right? Where we step outside the just the brand names. There's four more pairs here, so in total, we're gonna have eight pairs of sneakers. Some of you might only have eight pairs in your collection, and that makes life a lot easier, but there's definitely some of you out there that have more than that, and this strategy will definitely help you out. So an absolute must is an all-white sneaker, and these 
Sambas from Kith and Adidas are gonna be my white sneaker this week because they have that dark brown outsole there that doesn't show a whole lot of dirt. This is one of my only pairs of Sambas, actually. The Samba craze is you know, through the roof right now, but I'm actually not that big into it. I prefer the Gazelle Indoor. I've got an Adidas video on the way of the best options that you can buy right now, and I don't think there's even a Samba on that list, some good ones in it. Next up, this one is super important. If you don't listen to anything else in this video, listen to this one tip. You absolutely have to get your newest pickup into rotation. I'm not the type of person that puts a brand new sneaker into my collection and then forgets about it for years or plans to sell it. Like I get it because I wanna wear it. Period. So how do you wear it? You put it directly into your line of sight. You walk into your sneaker area and you're looking right at it. My newest pickup just happens to be a pair of New Balance. We've got the 860 V2 and wow. I don't think I've seen anybody on YouTube feature these just yet, but they are glorious. If you want a pair of this shoe, it is linked for you down in the description. The 860 V2 model is extremely comfortable. It's the same model as the Ame Leondor collab from last year that a lot of people were really into. Moving on, we have the sleeper. Of course, you got to get the sleeper into rotation. You have to have that shoe that people are going to look at or message you if you post them on your social media, where'd you get those? What are those? That type of thing. And this Air Max, man, it is one of the biggest sleepers. This random colorway of Air Max 90s in this grape, purple, and gum, these just do it for me. I get a Nike ACG vibe. You can still get this shoe, it's on sale, it's only available in one spot that I've been able to find. You can get them right now for like 110, so they're linked for you. Okay, after this last pair, I'll go through each one of these categories if you guys wanna make a note of it and do it yourself. Sometimes we just have that day where no matter what, you want the most comfortable sneaker in your collection on your feet. I have a lot of good options because comfort is really important to me, and this pair that I'm about to show you is just clouds. We've got the Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance collaboration on the 993 Sage Green. I don't know what it is about the 993, but it feels like it's designed specifically for my foot. It's wide in the toe box, it's responsive, and then this Sage Green color is actually something you can wear with a lot of different things. So let's break this down and definitely make a note of this. We've got the all white shoe that goes with everything. We've got the 860 V2, that's my newest pickup. We have the hype. Break out something, who cares what it's worth? Wear it. We've got the New Balance option, the Jown Joints. Something from Jordan Brand, these Bread 4s money, and then something from Nike, the Air Tech Challenge 2. You gotta have a pair of sleepers, and then of course, something extremely comfortable. Make your life easier. Get a shelf just like this. Pick eight different pairs, maybe even dwindle it down to six if you wanna make life even easier and do this exact same thing. Before you get out of here, let me know if you guys do anything like this. Subscribe if you're new. That's it for me though, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.